Слава Богу! Приветствую вас, братья и сестры! Я сегодня буду на английском проповедовать. Так что, слава Богу! Good evening, brothers and sisters! As we begin this season of remembrance of the suffering of Christ, as we begin uh, this season of uh, what we call Easter, we begin to remember uh, Christ, remember what he suffered. And even this morning we took communion, and this morning we remembered Christ and uh, what he went through. But uh, one question is, What do we remember in this time? It, the question is not what are we supposed to remember, it's what do we actually remember. As we take communion, as we go into this season of Easter, what do we remember about Christ? What do we remember about Jesus? Again, not a, what are we supposed to remember, but what do we actually think of during this time? Do we think of the cross? During this morning's communion, what did we think about when we took it, when we partook in it and participated in it. As the month of preparation for Easter begins, the question still remains, what do we think about this whole month leading up to the day? What do we think about, is it his suffering, is it the death, is it the resurrection? What goes through our minds and what goes through our hearts? When Jesus broke bread, In Luke 22, 19, he said, And when he had taken some bread and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup after they had eaten, saying, This is the cup which is poured out for you. It is the new covenant in my blood. The focus Today, I want to be on remember me, remembering Jesus, as he said. So when he first said he took the bread, he broke it. He said, do this in remembrance of me. This is my body. So when we took the bread off the plate, what did we think about? What went through our minds? Did we remember all the suffering that Jesus took went through, through his in, in body, through his body. Luke 22, 42, Jesus prays and he wishes that this cup would go around him, if it's possible, because he knows exactly the pain he's going to endure. It's around the corner, it's coming. He knows the physical agony that he's going to endure. He also knows the spiritual agony of separation from him and our Heavenly Father, His Father. It says that He prayed fervently. As we keep reading, Jesus says in Matthew, my soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. His agony began before the cross. He was very, he was very worried, you could say, anxious. When they took him, when they captured him, they began to beat him. They began to hit him, they began to punch him. Some would slap him. Then, to add on to that, they put a crown of thorns on his head. And then to add on to that, they scourged him. Now, I've heard a lot about this scourging, of how there's a whip And there's a little hook at the end, so when it latches onto your skin, it tears off some skin. Then he was beaten some more, he was spat at. Then the final, the final pain, the final thing came, which is the cross. He hung there, pierced hands, pierced feet, barely able to breathe, and then death itself. Is that what we think of when we partake, when we take the bread? Is that what goes through our minds? Is there a process through our minds and through our hearts that goes 
like something like this when we partake in it? Do we remember that suffering? Is there any weight to it or is it just a quick, okay, I remember it, and then we move on. Then he read, uh, he said, this is the cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Now he's talking about his blood. When we partook in the cup, what did we think about then? There's an old hymn that goes something like this. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. As we took the cup and as we drank the wine, did we think that through? Is that what went through our minds? Is that what went through our hearts when we partook in that cup? The body showed suffering. The blood showed a new hope. Is that what went through our minds? Or is this just another day for us? Another day went by and just a quick thought of Jesus and then we moved on. Did we begin to think that we are now a new creation as we took that cup, as we took that bread? Did we be start to think about that as Paul says it in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 18 through 21? He says, now all these things are from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors of Christ as though God were making an appeal through us. We beg you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Is that something we think through? Do we realize what happened? That now an unholy people can have a relationship with the holy God through Christ. Do we realize that when we take this cup, the bread, and remember his suffering, does that hold weight? Or do our minds lightly think of it, think of it barely scratching the surface? Do we remember that? Because we like to forget. We like to compartmentalize. That means we put it away in a small box in our minds. And when time comes to remember Jesus, we open the box. We think about him a little bit. We remember him for a little bit. Then we put him back in the box. We close it and we go on with our day. Sometimes that box lasts through the prayer. After we take the bread, we stand for a few minutes. We pray. We think about it. We sit down and we forget the instant we just said amen. We like to forget about him. I remember back in high school, we had a social studies class. And at that time, there was a district court that had the Ten Commandments displayed at their entrance. So when you entered, you saw the Ten Commandments. And a few people started uh, complaining. They started saying that this is offensive to us. Take it down and put it in a church where it belongs. So my teacher brought it up as a discussion in class. He asked, do you guys, what do you guys think? I remember one student picked up his hand and he answered, I think they're right. If it offends them, take it down, put it in a church where it belongs. And the teacher asked him, so church is only what? What is church? And he said, church is for Sundays. So he said, church is once a week. He goes, yes. And this is a public school, not a Christian school. And he goes, so what you're saying is that we only need to go to church on Sunday. And the student said, yes. And he goes, okay, that, I guess your logic is that uh, Jesus only gave his life for us and we only, he only deserves one day. And the student goes, hey. and he kind of hesitates and he stops and he thought through a little bit what he just said and we moved on with the conversation. But is that... What we do, do we compartmentalize like that? Is church only for Sundays? Is remembrance of Christ only for Sundays or for communion or for Easter? Or is it just for a minute or two? Is it for just that prayer that we do after we take in the bread and we drink the cup? There is a preacher that once said that if we actually woke up with the thought 
of God is everywhere. He's in us. He's around us. He sees all. He knows all. We would live our lives completely different because sometimes we forget that too. It goes the same for this. If we actually woke up every morning thinking about and realizing what Christ has done for us, would we then live our lives a little differently and not forget? Will then our goals and ambitions and dreams be different from what they are today? Unless we already do that. He said, remember me because we like to forget. You know when we like to get, forget the most? Is when we're about to say or do something we're not supposed to. That's when we like to get, forget about Christ the most. When we're angry with somebody, when we're a bit greedy, when we're a bit, when we lust for something, that's when we like to forget the weight of the cross the most. But we like to remember when somebody else does that sin. All of a sudden we remember all the passages and we can recite them in three different languages and three different translations. Jesus said, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he finished saying, this is the cup which is poured out for you. Is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. When we remember Christ's suffering, when we remember the body, the blood, is it a minute thing? Is it a 30 second thing that we do? Or do we meditate on it? Do we go through what Jesus went through in our minds? Do we try to let that sink in and marinate in us? I would like to conclude with this and for us to think about this. Praise be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for his mighty work on the cross. Amen. So as we begin this season, as we're building up and preparing for, for the remembrance for Easter, is remember the suffering, the death, and the resurrection. Let it not be a, day, a one day thing, a weekend thing, or a 30 second prayer. Let it sink deeply in our hearts so it holds some weight. I'd like to invite all of us to pray, to stand and pray. And as we pray, let us think about this as well.